So far during our build, you have seen us tear and rip apart the interior of the bus, and this has created an ever-growing pile of scrap material, which has all found a home in the backyard. But it's time to put an end to that, because the demolition is finally over. This is actually only about a third of the scrap. I'd already taken two loads away. For this load, however, I had to separate it into wood and steel. And in doing this, we have managed to recoup $261 so far, not including all of the copper wiring, as I'm going to try and reuse as much of that as I can. this left over from doing the floor like doing the frame and we are eventually going to have some awnings on this side yeah the ones i looked at are just pretty cheap they're three and a half meters long which would go from pretty much the door back to here um and then another one go back to this this window here which will cover all three bays underneath for when you're outside because we'll have like a barbecue pull out barbecue area on this first bay here um, but what I'm going to do for the future mounting is I'm going to cut this into about I don't know 10 centimeters and put them along here on each one each one of these pillars so it'd probably come out to about about there somewhere and I'll do that uh, six times I think there is So I've decided to find out the front area instead of doing the awning rack because I've started these two pillars here, this one and that one, as you can probably see, got quite a bit of rust on there. I started cleaning this one out, which led me on to this half cut out piece, which then I was like, it'd be nice to get all this stuff out. But I'd like to put a shelf here one day, um, and I'd like to make a metal frame and then cover it in. I don't know, plywood or something to make it look pretty. Um, and it'd be easier to see what was going on without these. Um, some of it could be maybe a little bit structural, but I mean, there's enough stuff going on up here that surely it doesn't matter. Yeah, so I've got the plasma cutter out. I've got to set it up. Air express is ready. Might be time for a new glove. Just burnt myself on the welder. So this one, I had to move out from this pillar a bit because of this fiberglass seal. Because that seal is very thick. I also painted our awning mount. It doesn't have to look pretty, you just need to stop, stop it from rusting. Um, also, put a coat on these because they've been treated with the rust converter. And just like a bit down the side there as well, a bit down this side. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for those to dry. And then I might 
maybe start grinding away at some of these pot rivets or pulling out some of these screws. So the inside's pretty much done. So yesterday you would have seen me went along and grinded all the pot rivets from the roof and then got most of the glue off to where it's flat. So whatever we mount onto the roof as a ceiling will sit pretty much flush. Like it's mostly just building it back up from this point, really. Like I've got all the, the gutting done and the clean up from that, pretty much done. I've got the foam for the floor at the backyard and it's the foil board for the side as well and then three mil ply to run down this bottom edge of the, the wall. I've got all that out of the backyard. I've still got to put on the second and third solar racks. And then hopefully this week, we'll get our electrician out to do a bit of a game plan of how we're gonna run everything, what we need. And that'll, that'll let me figure out um, whether or not I can actually go ahead and put the wall on because I don't know whether, like, whether I wanna run the wiring through this part of the wall, or maybe up through the ceiling, just on the edge there. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just building it back up from this point, which is taking a long time to get here, but it feels good. Got a lot of the little jobs ticked off over the last week. So that brings us to the chairs. I was always hopeful that we could either sell them or give them away at the very least. But unfortunately, the owner of our house is now trying to sell it and they have to go. We have held onto them for a year now with no interest in them apart from the family of mice that have moved in. I spent a couple of days pulling them apart to recycle as much as I could. I got $13.60 for the metal and 53 seat belts if anyone would like some. which is that hatch over there that I still have. It's not going to use it, so I just keep it around. Um, but yeah, all of that's on storage, so I'm just going to cut along this line and then cut the supports out. So first off, I've got to, I've got to set the right depth on the blade here, which is only 12 mil wide. Now I can just use it, use this here. So to stay with the storage, I was going to cut this little lip off, but it might actually be good for the new door to come down and rest on. But I know I can make one at the same height all the way along it. So this is the area, this is part of the um, frame, so I'm not going to cut that out. But back here, goes back a little ways, um, that's going to be for the shower base pretty much. So I'll make a real low part that comes down a fair way with a bilge pump or something and make a recirculating shower. Just, it works out perfect there actually, didn't really plan it too much, but I knew this space was here and it would be good for that because like it's hard to access because of this bar. So we'll use we'll use all the storage this side of that bar 
and then this here will be part of the shower because this is the shower shower base right there. And then we've got this section back here. Still not the prettiest, but it's definitely better. Now this was my idea for the pop-up coffee table at the front of the bus. Unfortunately, I actually had to scrap the idea because it wasn't going to be strong enough to lift the weight of the tape. So I'll save you from the build process, but you can hear throughout the lift when it becomes easier for the motor. I was going to have two of them side by side, but even that didn't help much.